everyone, it's Exa, and welcome back to my channel. Now you're probably thinking, why is she wearing this fancy gown with a tiara? Do you ever have those days where you just feel like you need to be a princess for absolutely no reason, and just prance around in a fancy gown and a tiara and take pictures and just pretend there's not a care in the world? Well, today is one of those days, but this dress just isn't cutting it for me. I dream of being a real princess with a big poofy ball gown skirt with a train, just frolicking through the gardens, and I decided that's what my next DIY is going to be. I'm going to be making some giant poofy tool ball gowns. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of work. I might or might not get engulfed in a giant pile of tool and swim in it because I'm going to be using 600 feet of tool. But here we go, making a tool ball gown. So for this dress, I was just so inspired by Ariana Grande's Grammy dress, and I love the gray tulle and the puffiness, so I will be making mine in a similar shade of gray and use hers for inspiration. Although the style of mine is not going to be exactly the same, and I am going to be putting flowers on the top, and the skirt's not going to have that extra layer of puffiness around the middle, but... You can honestly do whatever you want with this, and I'm just using it as general inspiration. Alright guys, so first we're going to do a little bit of math to figure out how much tool we are going to need for our dresses. So, first we are going to be taking the distance around our waist or hips, um, you know, however high up that you want your skirt to fall, and, and multiply it by two, and that is how many strands it's going to take to go all the way around your waist. Now that we know that, we're going to measure the distance from that point on your waist to the floor or however long you want your skirt to be. And that is going to be the total length that each strand will need to be. So for me, that means I would need about 420 feet of tulle for a floor length one layer skirt. I did decide, however, that I want to add a train onto the back of my skirt to be a little more over the top. So the front part of our skirt is going to be that same measurement of the front distance to the floor doubled over and multiplying that by half the amount of strands you need for your whole skirt. And I'm going to figure out how long I want my train to be, which for me is going to be 78 inches. Then I'm going to subtract that from the front length to figure out the length added to get the correct train shape. And then I'm going to divide that by a quarter of my total number of strands, which for me is 15, to figure out how much each strand will need to be longer than the previous one to get the shape all the way around to the train. So now I'm just going to break that down and add them all up, and that will be how long each set of two strands is going to be. As you can see here, it works out really well if you use an Excel table to math this out instead of doing it by hand. So I'm going to multiply each of those by 4, because remember this is a single distance length, so we need to multiply it by 2 to get the total length of each strand, and then by 2 again, because there's going to be one on each side equally going down to meet at the back. So I'm going to then add this number to my total length needed for the front half of my skirt that we already calculated. So this means for my skirt I'm going to need 508 feet of tool for one layer of skirt. Now you're probably asking, well how do I know if I want one, two, or three layers? Um, I made a cute little chart that kind of shows you how much puffier it would get by adding another layer on top. So I decided for my skirt that I'm actually going to go with three layers. Then I just multiply that 508 by 3 to get how many total feet of tool I will need. So this tool usually comes in 100 yard spools, which means for my dress I'm going to need about 5 spools. Fun fact, if you didn't multiply it by 3 and you're doing 3 layers, that number of feet is actually going to be how many spools you will need. Now that we know how much tool we need, we can go ahead and purchase our supplies. So here is what a 200 yard spool of the tool looks like for my skirt. I ended up with three of those. And then for the bodice part, I'm actually using a pre-made bodysuit and I'm going to attach these artificial flowers on top. And lastly, you will need some elastic for the waistband. Getting started on the skirt, we're going to need our measuring tape to measure how long each strand will be and some scissors to cut them. So here I am just going to measure out the length of tool to the distance I need. Don't forget that you're going to need to double the length you actually want it to be from your waist to the floor. And I'm going to start with the front of my skirt, which is 42 inches. 
So I'm just going to do that and double it over to get my total length and cut him. And now I'm just going to do a bunch more of these until I get my 30 strands needed for the front of my skirt. This is going to take a while. For the skirt, I'm going to double them over and find the middle, and then we are going to take that middle and wrap it over our elastic waistband and loop it through. So then I now have one strand attached onto my skirt, and we are just going to keep doing that over and over and over again until we have a whole skirt. Here's a close-up of that process. I'm wrapping it over, looping through, and pulling my ends through that loop that I made over the elastic waistband and then you're just going to pull it tight and snug it up next to the strand that you just put down. Here I am dancing around with about 20 strands of tulle on the front of my skirt. Ta-da, here is one layer of skirt completed. As you can see, it's not super fluffy, so I'm going to keep going and make a few more. And now I'm just going to do that exact same process over two more times until I have all three layers of my skirt done. Keep in mind, this process does take a long time. I think each layer of skirt took me a good hour and a half to two hours to make. After I made all three layers, I stacked them together, and then I just took a little piece of my leftover tool and wrapped it around to connect the layers together so it became one skirt um, and was a little more manageable as you can see my little knots right there. Ta-da! Six hours later here is my finished puffy ball gown skirt. So now I'm going to get started on the top half. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just cut off that little extra bit of stem on the back of your flower so that way they will sit flat on your bodice. I'm just going to start by placing one at the bottom of the bodice and just go all the way around the edge. Now I know I said that this was a no sew dress but I am also going to show you a method to sew the flowers onto the bodice if you want and our second method will be using a hot glue gun or E6000. So for sewing them, we're just going to start by putting our needle through the bodice, and then we are going to go through the flower. Uh, most of these are going to have a hole that goes all the way through, so that makes that super easy. And then just to hold it in place, I just use this random little beads that I have on the inside of the flower, um, just to help secure them. And then we're going to go back through to the back of the bodice and pull it tight. And just keep doing that until you have all of the flowers sewn on. Our second method is going to be no sew, obviously, and we are going to just be using a hot glue gun. You can also use E6000 for this, you just have to wait longer for it to dry, and I'm really impatient, so I'm going to be using the hot glue. So super easy, make sure that you are cutting off the backs of the flowers like I showed in the beginning. Then you're just going to take a little dollop of hot glue and stick the flower on and hold it there for a few seconds until it dries, and you're done. So as you can see, I did half by hand sewing it and then I did the other half with hot glue and you really can't tell the difference. I think they're both going to hold up for quite a long time for my purposes, but if you are planning to use this um, really frequently, then I would probably suggest that you sew them on first just to make sure that they are super duper secure.
Well, there you have it. One no so giant puffy tool ball gown fit for a princess. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and add a comment below if you have any other DIY ideas that I should try out. I would love to come up with some other DIY ideas. I hope your day is as beautiful as the prince or princess that you are.